What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of this channel. So in today's video, this is just Big Z vlogging slash Big Z chilling, man. Um, I told you guys on my recent upload that I'll be making a part two to finish my trailer. So if you guys haven't watched part one with that part two Sturgeon Hunt for 2023, I kind of put that content together with daily vlogs so yeah if you guys haven't checked out that video make sure you guys watch that video before you go to this video so that you guys can have a better understanding of what i'm trying to do today so before we start here today i just want to apologize to my subscribers and to my viewers that are continuously watching throughout my whole videos this is just for people that are barely getting into my channel barely watching my video today so let's just go ahead and give them a quick insight on what we're going to be doing today so this is my harbor freight trailer i use this trailer to launch out my hobie pa14 so yeah that's my kayak slash boat i use that kayak to head out into open ocean or sometimes inside the bay of san francisco um what happens when salt water meets metal so when salt water meets metal, you know, rust starts to develop, okay? Like when that happens, man, everything, it just goes wrong. Like your lights wouldn't work anymore. Your wires would become weak. I mean, everything would become corrupted, basically. So yeah, um, that's why we're here today. Just to give you guys some updates on what I'll be doing. Um, this is part two of me getting ready for California halibut. That's right. Who's ready for the opening run for California halibut? I'm freaking excited, man. So for those that don't know, on mid-March and April, California halibut, it's going to come from open ocean into the Bay of San Francisco. So when that happened, us fishermen will go out there and hunt them down. That's right, man. Your boy got this, man. Like, I'm aiming to get a 40 plus this year, man. Fingers crossed. But before we talk high and mighty, we gotta get everything done. All right, so let's get started. We've installed it, wires, blinkers, everything. It's accounted for. Next thing that I have to do is install a bunker. So for the past whole day, well, it's just one day. I mean, I uploaded my first video yesterday I think, damn, I'm losing track of time. <laughs> Anyways, back to the subject. So yeah, um, on my recent upload, I told you guys that I'll be installing a bunker for my kayak because I don't want to, you know, cause too much scrapes under my Hobie PA14. So today I went to the gym and I was thinking like, man, dude, like I don't want to add any wood or any screws or, you know, noodle foams zip ties like i don't want to deal with that right now i just want something quick simple and easy so yeah i was at the gym today i just kept you know trying to figure out these ideas of how i'm going to make this happen how i'm going to make this possible by just you know adding a bunker without no screws or zip ties or welding nothing you know i was just thinking and then something caught my attention at the gym so I don't know if you guys know what a foam roller is. So basically, a foam roller is a PVC piping coated in foam to roll out your back. When you go to the gym, you'll see a bunch of like foam rollers that looks like this. And people would roll out their backs to just, you know, straighten out their backs basically before they start working out. So yeah, that caught my attention. So yeah, looking at that foam roller, that literally caught my attention. Like I literally had a brainstorm. So I went to Home Depot and I purchased some PVC piping. I had these cut into 45 inch long. And the reason why I had this cut into 45 inch long is because I wanted to stick it into the frame of my trailer so that you know when you can just put the pvc piping into the frame of your trailer you won't require to work with any screws or zip ties isn't that amazing 
that is some crazy thinking guys i think i should become a scientist man anyway so yeah we are going to stick two pvc piping i'm going to put one on the back and one right here so that i can easily load my kayak and launch out my kayak without having to do any further damage when it comes to having plastic grinding against metal so yeah i'd rather have plastic grinding against plastic so let's go ahead and start the install So now that we took off all of the boats, I've loosened the other side. Let's see if we can slip on the PVC pipe. Yes, sir. And it fits perfectly on there. Check that out, guys. Heck yes. All right, now let's go ahead and put back the bolts. All right, so we did the back. Now it's time for the second frame. There we go. All right, y'all, we just got done. I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's not the prettiest looking trailer, but it'll get the job done. So the first day I purchased this trailer from Amazon, I actually built it myself. And the way I did it is that I went too overboard, man. So I had all of these wires tucked in. Um, and all of these wires were like wrapped up on this protective tubing. And let me tell you, the more you add on this trailer, the more corrosions are more likely to occur, okay? So, that being said, when you guys purchase this trailer, make sure you don't go too high tech with it. So, here I'm just like exposing the wires because I know later on in the future, I'm going to have to maintenance it again, okay? So yeah, the more you add onto this trailer, the more you're going to carry salt. So that's the number one reason why I got everything exposed, so that I can easily spray it down when I get home. Um, I wanted to put one of these PVC piping onto the front right here. But because, you know, it's hollow in the inside, I don't want to, like, have salt going in there. And causing a corrosion on the front of the trailer right here so yeah i just want to keep everything away from this area so wet over there dry over here that's why i got everything shrink wrapped and everything exposed over here and there we go now it's time to put the hobie pa14 on top let's get to it Check it out. Now, we're going to try to roll the kayak on to the trailer.
can tell you such a whole different new game changer it slides on really easy and it slides off really smooth nothing is scraping I'm pretty satisfied with this guys man before when I didn't have this PVC piping you would literally hear grind from metal to plastic but now I'm pretty confident with this trailer setup. And here it is guys, this is my Mirage Pro Angler 14. Let me tell you, throughout my whole experience with this kayak, it hasn't disappointed me at all man. This kayak is a beast. It is a tank when it comes to owning a kayak. So yeah, this is my setup for the opening run for California Halibut. So yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys what I have on this kayak. I have a six foot medium light Saltiga rod. This is a conventional version. Last year, last halibut run, I've used the spinning one right there. So that's the spinning one and this is the conventional one. This year, for this opening run, I'm working with the conventional one. And that reason is because I want that crossover so that I can have good video content i don't know if you guys can see that but this is where my camera would be at for you newcomers if you guys haven't watched my videos make sure to check it out so yeah my camera would be pointing at me also i'm working with two camera this year one camera is going to be on me and one camera is going to be pointed at me so yeah pretty excited for this opening run for california halibut also, I have here the Lawrence Hook Reveal 7. Let me tell you, this fish finder right here was killing it, man. I was constantly hooking onto fish left and right. Like, damn, this is a whole different new game changer right here. So, yeah. Um, other than that, if you guys have any further questions, please leave a comment down below. If you guys have any ideas that I can put to this trailer or to this kayak, let me know. All right, man. So there you go. We got everything done, man. We got the trailer accounted for. We got the kayak, we got the rods, we got the camera gear. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I mean, like, I, I, I just want to go tomorrow, man. Like, honestly, like, I don't care. I just want to be out there. Anyways, if you guys want to join me, let me know, man. Like, if you guys have kayaks, um, direct message me. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put my link down below. Um, so yeah, I mean, don't let me go out there alone. So leave me a message. We can plan something out. Let's get them California halibut. Blah. Let's get them California halibuts together. All right, guys. I'm about to go ahead and call it a day. From the tone of my voice, I am exhausted. We went to the gym. We did go fishing. Stay tuned for the video content. But yeah, um, I haven't slept in like 24 hours. So I'm like really exhausted. Um, anyways, I'll see you on the next video. So if you guys enjoyed the content of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.